If you're watching this video, you're probably curious about how to set up an FAQ page on your Squarespace website. I'll walk you through a few different options for FAQs and then stick around at the end where I will show you some code you can add and then a hack to get around a weird bug. My name is Christy Price and I'm a Squarespace Circle member and authorized trainer. And I'm so excited to help you get the most out of your Squarespace website. In today's video, we'll be walking through FAQ page creation. So let's dive in. All right, here we are in this fun, silly website I created for my dog, Bela. It's based on my Sway template. So if you like the look and feel of this template, check out Sway. I'll put a link in the description below. And in this website, I am creating it for Bela, who is my client. And she is providing information to other dogs on how to better get along with their humans. Bela wants an FAQ page. So let's take a look at a couple of different ways we could create this. So first, let's go into website. We've got all of our pages here. And let's say that she wants to add an FAQ page here in the header. So it's at the top. The link is at the top of every page. So for main navigation, let's go ahead and click this plus symbol. And one of the things we can do is start with a pre-made page layout. So I'll click this. And you'll see here on the left-hand side, there's an option for FAQs. There are a few different layouts here. We've got a, a nice header with frequently asked questions at the top. I like that. So you kind of know what page you're on when you land on it. It gives it a little bit of grounding underneath the header. So let's go ahead and just click this. And you'll notice it does some weird things here that we're going to fix. It says FAQs 1 which is really strange because that's the layout that we chose, but it should just say FAQ. So if we click the cog icon here, we can remove this S and space and one from the page title, the navigation title, and the URL slug. So we just want it to be FAQ. The other thing that's weird that's a bug is it automatically adds this to your SEO title. Just delete it there too. So I just went to the SEO tab, and deleted it from the SEO title here. And I'll click save. Now, FAQ is not the first thing we want here. People tend to put more importance on the first and last link. So services would probably be the first because Bela wants to sell her services, I imagine. And contact is the last. So let's move FAQ to just after blog and before contact. Really anywhere in here is fine. Actually, I like it like this because blog then also seems important because it's the last text link. Kind of like this layout. All right. So you'll notice on this page, if I click edit, we've got the title and then we just have a text block with the questions. And what they've done is that they've made the question in heading four and the answer in paragraph two, which is the default of your website. And then there's a another section with the same layout. Now, I don't love this. So let's make some adjustments here. One of the things that I want to do is I want this to match the look and feel of the rest of my website. So you can see here, I've got services elevate your brand. That's kind of my typical header. So what I'm going to do is save this section, click exit, pop back into FAQ, click edit, and we're going to just add this section. Now, if you were happy with the layout of this section, you can just leave it. But I think my client wants it to be consistent with the rest of her website. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to say that this is FAQ, positive, positively good advice. Or whatever you want to say here. Or you could just have FAQ as the title. All right. Now here, this is certainly one way you could go about creating your FAQ, just doing a text block. However, there's another option I want to show you because it's one that I like a little better. I actually delete this text block. And now I'm going to add a new block and I'm going to choose the accordion block. If you don't see it here, if you start typing accordion, it will appear on the left. All right, great. Now I can change the width of this. And what I want to do is just center it up I kind of like the width that the text was. And if you hit G on your keyboard, I can make sure I have the same number of columns on the left and the right. And I do. So that looks really great. I just feel like this looks a little more professional. 
And that way people don't have to wade through all the answers. They can just look for the question that they have and go from there. So I'm going to remove this other section here and go ahead and save before we add any information here. So we've got our FAQ, positively good advice, and our questions and answers. So let's ask Bela, what kind of questions uh, do you think your website viewers will have? They often ask, where are my treats hidden? All right. The first question, we're going to click into the accordion block, and then we have a space for the title and the description. And then we can come back and style this later. So let's go ahead and click in and paste in the question, where are my treats hidden? And Bela's answer will go here. So let's just see what she has to say about that. And we'll paste Bela's answer in here. All right. Next up, Bela, what other common questions do you get from your site visitors? How can I be an influencer? Let's go ahead and add in that next question and paste in Bela's answer. And just for the sake of time, let's add a couple of other items. And if you wanted to reorder these, you can absolutely drag and drop them anywhere you'd like them to go in any order. Now, a couple of design changes that I always make to the accordion block is I go in and I check and make sure the title and the description are the correct fonts I want. So you could make these larger or smaller, different headings, different alignments. Um, you could certainly center these if you wanted. Kind of looks cool. The other option is if you click here for description, you can change the width to be large and it can go across the entire width of the block. This works well if your block is not super wide, the width of your page, like we have it here. All right. You have other options here for styling and padding and turning on a background. So go ahead and make this your own. So if you have a lot of questions, what you can do is put two side by side. Now, if I were to do this, I would want to go back in and I would line everything left just so it looks a little tidier. And you can also shorten these up a little bit. So there's just a tiny bit of spacing between them. So however you decide to create this layout, accordion blocks can come in really handy with FAQ sections. All right, if you stuck around, I promised you a little bit of code that you could add to your website. Now, this code helps Google, as it crawls your site, understand that these are, in fact, frequently asked questions. And it might be a benefit to SEO. So if you would like to add the schema to your website, I'll paste the link in the description below. But we can also hop over now and I'll show you what the generator looks like. So what we would do is pop in, grab our questions and answers paste those in and just keep adding them one after another, the question and answer. And then what we do is we copy this FAQ schema and we go back to our website and we'll just add a code block here at the bottom of the page and paste in our schema code. To use this, you'll need to be on the business plan or hire of Squarespace. But like I said, it probably helps for SEO. Now, you'll notice that this section got really long. So what we can do is we can just stick this behind our FAQ and it's living there. Only Google will read it. It's not important for us. But the last thing we want to do is because we're building in Fluid Engine, we want to pop over to the mobile view and just make sure everything look, looks good here. So you'll notice that there would be a big gap between my sections because of the code block. So again, I'm just going to move that up here and move the next code block or next accordion block up. And then the scripts just, uh, I'm going to make sure it is sent to the back. There we go. So let me go ahead and save and exit. And you'll notice that that script, we don't really see it at all. So let's hop back here to our desktop view and you can see all of the questions and answers here as you tab through them. One more thing I'm going to show you, and this is a little hack. If you are using an image in this section. So let's pretend we just have one accordion block and we have an image here that we're using on the left. And let me just go ahead and we'll reuse Bela's image here, our web designer dog. And let's go ahead and fill this so it doesn't look like it. Yeah, so it actually fits the space really nicely. All right, let me save and exit. 
One of the problems here is that when I open these up, the image will shrink and grow. Now, if we don't have anything else under here, like a button or other text, the trick to prevent that from happening is to just drag this container for your FAQ taller than the image. So I'm dragging it so that it actually goes below the image by a line here. Let's go ahead and save and exit out of that. And now when I click these, it doesn't make the image grow or shrink. So a little tip there. Let's go ahead and shorten this up. And there we have it, our finished FAQ page for Bela's website. I hope this was helpful and I wish you all the best with your website.